Much changed Manchester United side, but still a strong one and an experienced one. Seven of this 11 played in the Wembley win against Southampton in February. First outings this season for Michael Carrick, twice a League Cup winner with United. Sergio Romero gets a run out in goal as well. Nine changes in total from the 11 that started the Premier League win against Everton here on Sunday. Just one matter and Marcus Rashford keep their places. If things do get awkward, they've got top scorer Romelu Lukaku to call on from the bench, along with 20-year-old Scott McTominay set for his first taste of this competition. Well, Nigel Clark has made plenty of changes for previous rounds, and he does again tonight. Nine from the weekend win in the championship against Fulham. He rewards the players who earned this with wins in the previous rounds. There is cup experience in here. Joe Mason and Ben Turner both played and scored in the League Cup final defeat for Cardiff against Liverpool back in 2012. Luke Barney, 35 next week, scored against Manchester United in the League Cup for Crewe as they took them to extra time 11. Manchester United have not so much as conceded a goal here in any competition so far this season. Dispossessed by Arari, needs to hold on to that or uh, it's going to be a long night for Burton Albion. Carrick. Looking for Lingard, might come for Rashford, it does! Taken four minutes for Manchester United to hit the front. Marcus Rashford with his fourth goal of the season. And Burton Albion fears appear to be coming through here. Yeah, it's the worst possible start for them. We talked about Varney needing to hold the ball. If he doesn't do that, and then what they do, the interchanging. You see Lingard, he says exactly where he wants it. It's a lovely little touch on it. And his turn can not get there. And Rashford just plays up him beautifully. And this is a wonderful touch from Lingard. And great finish from Rashford as well. Saying the worst possible start for Burton Albion. And the interchange between Lingard and Rashford. It's a great finish from Rashford, and what a touch from Lingard. Oh, Allen's done well. Fantastic bit of skill from Allen. Seems to be full of confidence, gets the better of Mata. He's trying to curl it into that top corner, unable to do it. Just a few seconds earlier, this could have been 2 0. Good strike ended up being good defending. A little part in the build up to that goal. Afforded space in that sort of area of the pitch hill hurt you more often than not, no matter what the quality of the opposition is. And he's on the ball again. Rashford. Oh, that's a delightful hit from Marcus Rashford. Who doubles his tally and Manchester United's knee. And they're starting to streak away on the night. Now we've seen him a couple of times trying to get in behind. He's burning back five. This time he just decides just to take that little bit of a step off. Does that create the time and space for himself? That's a great strike. Then off the post. Oh, just his movement here. Gets in between the midfield and defensive Burton. Able to turn in one stride. And puts it into the back of the net. The same Manchester United. They are well worth it. Every time they're going forward, they're looking so dangerous. Twelve minutes after his first, out whose car we're we going to use, but then that brought togetherness amongst all the players. Swept out majestically by Michael Carrick to uh, invite Martial forward. Loses his footing, but not possession. Martial, Lingard. The deflection is a cruel one, but a worthy one for Manchester United, who had three with ten minutes of this first half left to play. See Lingard's a goal scorer, but they all go straight over to Martial. Fantastic play from him. Great perseverance as well. He comes short and just uses his pace to get him behind. A lovely bit of movement from him. And it just takes such an unfortunate deflection of Turner. Manchester United, they've been so dominant. Every time they've gone forward, they've looked dangerous. I'm sure there's more to come from them as well. I'll give credit to Burton. They are trying. Every time they can see the goal, they're trying to get back at Manchester United going forward. And they're leaving themselves so open at the back. And when there's plays like Lingard on the pitch, Martial, Mata, Rashford. And by just a week shorter of his 35th birthday to Matty Palmer. Oh, it's come all the way through. And Lunt. 
almost seem surprised by it and certainly should probably have done better with it. It's a lovely ball in from Palmer. If anything, Blint, he just gets under it. He's just on side. I think he's actually taken by surprise himself. And he just can't get it under control quick enough. And therefore, the ball's rising and he can't get his body over it. He sends it hitting over. Yeah, 3 0 up and we're still five minutes before the break. That's one of the things you'd say about Manchester United in recent seasons. The home form hasn't been as good as it should be. And they improve here with Lingard. They look for a penalty with Turner coming in behind the, the corner. And this is the one Manchester United thought they should have had a penalty. See Lingard, Turner's getting back at him. I don't think there's enough there. I think the pace of Lingard makes him lose his balance, but I don't think there's enough from Turner to warrant a penalty. Good pace from Lingard to get in behind. A bit from Turner, but like I say, I don't think there's enough for a penalty. Time for Manchester United to launch their latest attack. It's been a dominant first half. Marcus Rashford getting them up and running. Early. Murphy, Ben Turner making way. So, uh, do you think Danny are back four here for uh, Burton Albion? No, I think by the looks of it, I think Warnock will just replace Turner and then Murphy coming in for Alan. Murphy will just give him that extra. Matty Palmer's going to take this one for Burton Albion. Is as good a chance, really. Uh, so often a breeding ground, this competition for stars of the future. To uh, not have escaped the notice of Manchester United fans that their scorers tonight are homegrown. There's Rashford teaming it up for Martial. Excellent advantage play. And Martial is allowed to sweep it home and make it four for Manchester United on the armour. Martial gets the goal, but it's a homegrown play that should get applauded. Fantastic bit of play for him here. Plays a lovely ball, just takes his time. Martial, he's deserved that goal. Constantly been on the move, looking to get in behind. He, didn't, he lays the initial ball off, and he's not happy. He doesn't want to stop and admire the pass, he wants to keep on running. Let's see, he creates a space for himself. That's a great finish, and he deserves that goal. You see how much it means to him as well. United. Once again, Martial looking to play on the shot. Lovely ball this time from Lingard. No credit to Flanagan. It's a more difficult for him. Move it from Manchester United going forward. This time it's Lingard dropping deep. Martial going beyond. Just calm. By a blast over. Well, he's got a terrific goal scoring record in this competition. As Lloyd Dyer. He gets the ball. He's only got one thing in his mind. He's very direct. Quick forward, makes that bit of space for himself. Wasn't able to keep it down. Martial's free kick. Oh, it rippled the outside of the net. It was close. Very close indeed. Ripley was either very confident and was just hoping and it didn't go into the back of the net. It's a good effort from Martial. He gets it up and over the wall, but just too much curl on it. I mean, has been fantastic this season. And Flanagan. Here's Akins. Burton having a go in the dying seconds. In by Murphy. Oh, back off the crossbar. So close to getting something. Torreira's missed it. It's back with Dan. And Burton Albion have done something that no side has done at Old Trafford this season, and that is score a goal. It's a happy irrelevance, but it's something for Burton Albion to go home with. Uh, they deserve that. They've kept trying and trying. They've had a couple of good chances. So we'll look the ball in from Murphy. He's just off the bar from Mason. And if anyone deserved the goal for Burton, is that man Dyer. Doesn't celebrate the goal, but it's something that Burton Albion can take from this game. Pereira a little bit disappointed, he wasn't able to hold on to the ball. But Nigel Clough, he'll take that. A lot of teams have failed to do in recent times, and that's put the ball into the back of the net. And it's progress without too much of a bump in the road for Jose Mourinho.